Yo, what's good everybody and welcome to a brand new Elden Ring video. Now today we are back with another rune farming method. Now this one is actually really easy to do and it will be very useful for those which struggle with some of the other rune farms I showcase on the channel. So if you guys are one of those people who find it a bit hard to climb some of these locations, well today I'm going to show you a really easy one. But as always, before I dive into the rest of this method, a quick word from today's video sponsor. If you guys want to purchase some in-game items for Eldering, check out Messy Modding, links down below. Right, so about a day or two ago, I showed you guys a easy rune farming method, which required a little bit of climbing. And some of you were telling me in the comment down below, messaging me that this farm is a little bit difficult purely because you can't do the climb or you simply are dying after falling. Well, today I'm gonna show you an easier method of being able to do that rune farm. It is gonna give you a lot of runes, so it is one of those like high reward type of farms. So firstly, you are gonna have to go ahead and make your way into the underworld, now specifically the red part of the underworld right here on the map. Now, if you don't have this area unlocked, I'm gonna quickly show you how to get it unlocked. The first method of being able to get access here is by doing two simple quests for a character that goes by the name of White Mask. His first spawn location is gonna be right in the first where I suppose you actually come across in the open world of this game right here. He should be standing right in the spawn where my character is. If he isn't he, he's gonna be in the second location which is going to be the Rose Church and once again he's going to be standing right in front of it so both these locations this guy spawns in a quite obvious spot so you won't really miss him but once you find him you're going to go ahead and talk to him he's going to give you those two quests you're going to finish them and as a reward he's going to give you this medallion which if you actually click on it and use it it is going to take you directly to the underworld and you're able to actually do the farm now for those that for some reason can't do these missions maybe you've attacked white mask and he doesn't want to give you the quest you are going to have to go ahead and unlock the secret snow area which is right here on the map now if you don't know how to unlock this also i'm going to link two videos down below which will show you on how you can do that but if you do have this area unlocked there is a portal right here on the map right here you're going to come to it and you're going to access it which basically is also going to take you to the underworld and it's also going to be the red part of it but either way either using the medallion or the portal once you've actually made your way into the zone you are going to be heading over to the first rest point which is right here technically if you use the medallion this is the first rest point you come across but you want to activate it and then from this point onwards you're going to go ahead and jump off this like cliff here you're going to jump on your horse and then you're going to follow my character you're going to be running across this part of the map there are going to be some enemies so try and avoiding them because these are like the wizard type of enemies which spawn these giant skeletons which will kick your butt trust me you don't want to mess with them but once you actually get to this part where this massive like rock or trees whatever you want to call it you're going to go right in the corner of it now this is also going to be like i said an easier method of doing the one i showed you last time because all you got to do is just literally jump in the corner then do another jump and there is like an invisible platform on the side of this rock or wood thing whatever you want to call it just gotta land on it once you're on it just do a jump in the back you know just do a turn jump and then land on this rock here once you're on top of it you just simply want to scale the top of all of these rocks and you're also going to be able to make your way into this little crater once you're here you're going to simply do a single jump into it then proceed to do another double jump start swinging your weapon and after a little bit you are going to receive a ton of runes now keep in mind this does depend on whatever playthrough you guys are on the higher the playthrough the more runes you are going to be gaining so if you guys are on your first playthrough you're going to be getting significantly less runes than if someone who was on like the third fourth or fifth playthrough i'm on my third playthrough and with this i'm getting 300 plus thousand runes now I've only got the golden scarab equipped here and I don't have the pickled foot but if I did I'd probably get around 420 to 450,000 runes in a single jump which if you ask me that is a lot of runes but after you receive those runes you're going to simply open up your map 
and then teleport back to the original rest point and at this point you can literally just go ahead rinse and repeat this farm yourself this for as long as you want now like i said at the start this is an easier method of my previously showcased exploit that i've you know made a video about because a lot of you did tell me that you struggled with the wall climb and this is sort of like an easy method because it definitely is in my opinion a lot more simpler to actually get up here rather than doing the original method which requires a little bit more like angle jumping in a way you can call it but you know you guys get the point this is an easy method but that's pretty much it for the whole farm if you guys have any questions like always be sure to comment down below and i'll do my best to answer all of you guys questions and for now have a phenomenal day and i'll catch you in my next video peace out